Now that we've learned about our artist, Wayne Tebow, we're going to make our own cupcakes. The first thing I'm going to have you do is come up to my desk and pick out the color paper you want for the wrapper of your cupcake. Now that everybody has their paper for their wrapper, we're going to fold this page in half. Kind of like you're making a book. Fold it in half. And then open it back up. Each table is going to get some pencils to start. With the pencils, the very first thing we're going to do is on that folded line, we're going to make a mark, a little dash mark on each edge of the page. Doesn't need to be very big. And make sure it's on the fold. On the top rectangle, you have two rectangles on the top one, close to the middle top edge of the page, you're going to make a little dash. It does not need to be perfectly in the middle, just do your best. Now we are going to connect these three dots. We're going to start with the dash mark on the fold and draw a line up to the dash mark at the top. It's okay if your line is not perfectly straight. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now it kind of looks like you have a triangle. You just need those two lines. We're going to set the pencils to the side and I'm going to pass out some scissors. With the scissors, I want you to cut along those black lines. We're going to hang on to these extra pieces, so set them to the side for now. This is going to be the top part of your cupcake that we're going to cover with frosting. Now we need to do a little bit of stuff on the bottom part. So you still should be able to see your two dash marks. If you can't, you can make two more again. On the bottom part, you're going to put two fingers on the edge and make a little dash. Okay, I marked two fingers from the edge of my paper and made a dash. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You should have two little dash marks. You're going to draw a line from the dash mark to that closest top corner. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, with the scissors, we're going to cut on those black lines. Just set these pieces of paper off to the side. Now you should have a triangle on one side and a trapezoid on the other. The trapezoid is going to be the wrapper for our cupcake and the triangle is where the icing goes. Now before we move on, somewhere inside your trapezoid, I want you to write your name. We're now going to pick up the pencils, that's all we need them for, and put them back on my counter. Now we're going to flip it over so your name is on the back. And the first step we're going to do is get our icing. You're going to come up to my counter and you can either pick to have white icing or brown icing. So whatever color you pick, you either get white or brown. You either have vanilla icing or chocolate. 
To make our icing look kind of fluffy, we're going to be tearing the paper. So you can just tear it in little pieces. It doesn't have to be squares. Just tear it up into little pieces. And then we're gonna be gluing them on that top triangle. You wanna cover the whole triangle. So I'm gonna get at each table some glue so you can glue them down. When you're doing this, I would start near the bottom of the triangle and work your way to the top. Put some glue on and then stick down some of your icing. It's okay if it goes past or outside, it'll just make it look like it's super fluffy. Put some more glue and keep going until you've covered the whole thing. If you miss any spots, you can go back and add some more. When you're done, make sure you put the cap back on the glue stick. Any extra icing paper you have, I will come around and pick up. Now the next part is adding colorful sprinkles to our cupcakes. Up at the front of the room, I have a box with a lot of scrap papers. You also have the leftover triangles that you cut from your cupcake wrapper. You can use any of this paper to make whatever color sprinkles you want. The easiest way to make sprinkles with this paper is by cutting it into little strips like this and then cutting that into little rectangles or squares. They don't have to be teeny tiny, they can be kind of big. They'll be much easier to glue them the bigger they are. Then with your glue stick, you can put down some glue dots where you want your sprinkles to go on your paper. If you make too many sprinkles, these teeny tiny pieces we're not gonna worry about saving, so you can throw those away in the trash can. You can do more than one color. You can do however many colors you would like. Once you're happy with your sprinkles, you need to put away your glue stick. And then any leftover paper that you have. If it's really big pieces, they need to go back in my recycling box on my counter. If they're teeny tiny pieces, they need to go in the trash can. Once you have cleaned up your area around you, you're going to raise your hand and I will come around and give you a cherry to put on top of your cupcake. If you don't want a cherry, that's okay, just let me know. Once we have put away all the paper trash and everyone has a cherry on their cupcake, I'm gonna come around and pick up these scissors and glue sticks. I'm gonna trade and give you guys markers to color the wrapper of your cupcake. Maybe you want to add a silly face or you want to put stripes or a pattern like polka dots and stars. Whatever you want, you're going to draw with markers on the wrapper of your cupcake. Once you're done, we're going to put away the markers and you've got a cute little cupcake.